Hi everyone, Mrs. Velo here. In this video, I'm going to be going over double replacement reactions. So kind of the same idea with some uh, single replacement reactions, but in this case, instead of a sing asking if a single element can replace an element that's in a compound, we're going to have two elements switching spots. Now, um, moving forward, the rest of the types of reactions, double replacement, synthesis, decomposition, and um, combustion, you can assume that they're going to happen. Single replacement is the only type of um, reaction that possibly could not um, occur, where you would have um, no reaction. So with double replacement, we're just going to be switching the first two elements with each other because in all of these scenarios, um, you're going to have an ionic compound, which is a metal and a non-metal bonded together, and um, only likes can switch with likes, so the metals will switch with each other, which is the always going to be the element that's written first. So in this example, again, and you're going to do this for all of these double replacement problems, we're going to switch the first two elements with each other. So the Na and the Ba, which are both metals, are going to switch spots with each other. And again, just like in single replacement, whenever you get a new compound that's formed, um, you have to do the crisscross. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to show my work kind of in this space below, and then I'm going to write my final answer here. So let's just start by writing what elements are together. So since these two elements are switching spots, the Na is going to now be with the Cl. So just write the two elements that go together. Do not, do not just copy over and just be like that. That is absolutely wrong, okay? Just start by writing the two elements that are going to go together with each other. So Na and Cl will be together and Ba and Br will be together. Next, you're going to do the crisscross and we're going to write the charges on each of these elements. So Na is plus one, again, that's on the front of your periodic table. Cl is minus one. So when we do the crisscross, this one is pretty easy. We're just going to get NaCl actually going to move these off to the side here just to make more space. Plus Ba and Br are together. Ba has a charge of plus two and Br has a charge of minus one. So when we do the crisscross, we're going to get Ba, Br, two. Now that we have completed that step, now we are going to balance. Again, the left-hand side is always going to already be balanced for you. So for example, because this two is here, this is saying we have two Na's or sodiums, and on this side, we only have one sodium. So to make them the same, I'm going to put the two in the front here. And that works out because now this is saying you have two chlorines. And if you look at the left-hand side, we have two chlorines already. So that is balanced. So sodium and chlorine are good. And then I can see I have one Ba here and one Ba here. That's good. And then Br, there's two Brs here. And remember, this 2 gets applied to everything it's in front of. So that is also saying you have two Brs or bromines. This is now balanced. We're going to do the next um, reaction. So again, we're going to always switch. And this is for every single time you do these types of problems. We're going to switch the first two elements with each other. And again, I'm just going to write which element is with which first. And I have space down here, so I'm going to write it down here. So the um, Na is now going to be with the NO3. That's a polyatomic ion. Make sure you can recognize those. And then um, Ag is going to be with Cl. 
So just write what elements or what, um, yeah, elements or polyatomic ions in this case go together. Next, we're going to do the charges and the crisscross. So sodium has a charge of plus one. NO3 is on the back of your periodic table because it's a polyatomic ion and it has a charge of minus one. Whenever we have like two things that have the same charge, you're just gonna keep them the same. Na, one Na, and one NO3. Those are always easy. Plus, next we have AgCl. Now, Ag is a transition metal, um, and actually, if you look on the back of your periodic table, it is one of those transition metals where it actually always will have the same charge, but normally, um, I'll just tell you what the charge of that is. Like, there will be a little note that will say, like, oh, Ag is plus one. That's something that I would tell you or already be written on like a test quiz, etc. So Ag has a charge of plus one, Cl has a charge of minus one. We do the crisscross, we just get AgCl. And this one's pretty easy, it is already balanced because we have one of each element um, on either side. One Ag, one Ag. There's one NO3, there's one NO3, which is nitrate, one Na, one Na, which is sodium, one Cl, one Cl, which is chlorine.